Welcome back to Lowbrow Fancy. This week, I'm showing you how to make my flaming Hot Chocolate Cookies. They're chewy, chocolatey, stuffed with marshmallows, and did I mention they're covered in flaming Hot Cheetos? Let's get started. First, we're going to take 150 grams, or about one cup, of milk chocolate and chop it roughly into uneven chunks. Next, we're taking a large handful, or about 80 grams, of flaming Hot Cheetos and putting them in a Ziploc bag. Now, take a moment to think about the horrible state the world is in and channel all of that anger and frustration into absolutely pummeling the Cheetos into small pieces about the size of Rice Krispies, though a few larger pieces are fine. Or whatever, throw it all into a food processor and blitz it for a few seconds if you want. You do you. Put the Cheeto bits into a bowl and set aside for later. Into your most medium bowl goes 285 grams or 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 3 quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt, 3 quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and 50 grams or 1 half cup of cocoa powder. Whisk it all together and set aside. Into the bowl of a stand mixer goes 227 grams or 2 sticks of unsalted room temperature butter, 250 grams or 1 and a quarter cups of light brown sugar, and 150 grams or 3 quarter cups of granulated sugar. Fit the paddle attachment and beat on medium-high speed for 2-3 to three minutes or until light and fluffy. Remember to scrape down the bowl at least once part way through. You can make this dough with a hand mixer, but it may take you a couple extra minutes to cream the butter. Now, add a large room temperature egg plus one large yolk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Beat on medium-high speed for another 7 to 8 minutes until the dough is much lighter and fluffier. Set a timer or you're likely to stop mixing before reaching the right texture. Again, remember to scrape down the bowl at least once to make sure everything is getting combined thoroughly. Add the flour mixture to the bowl and pulse the mixer a few times to begin incorporating it without it flying all over the kitchen. Then on the very lowest speed, mix until just combined and for no longer than 20 seconds. Give the bowl a few scrapes with a rubber spatula before pouring in your chopped chocolate and gently folding it through until it's evenly distributed. Now we're going to grab a cookie scoop or tablespoon to scoop out a portion of dough and make an indentation with our thumbs into which we'll stuff as many mini marshmallows as our hearts desire or however many will just barely fit. Finally, we'll pinch the dough ball closed and roll it into a smooth ball before covering it with Cheeto pieces. Finally, we're placing the dough balls on a parchment lined baking sheet spaced at least 3 inches apart and baking in a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius oven for 14 to 16 minutes or just until the cookies have puffed, cracked and spread. Allow the cookies to cool for 5 to 10 minutes before transferring to a wire rack to cool completely. And there you have it, gooey, chewy, and chocolatey cookies that are as delicious as they are ridiculous. As silly as it seems to cover cookies in bits of Cheetos, I think you'll really love the little kick of heat it adds. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be willing to give this recipe a try. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!